Hi, this is Rainbow Stairs here to present to you a reaction video of sorts to Philippines A Century Hence by Jose Rizal. It has been a long time since Rizal has written his article, A Century Hence or Filipino Dentro de Cien Anos, as Rizal called it. It has already been more than a century, after all, since the essay's conception, which begs questions such as has the Philippines progressed throughout the century, just like Rizal has predicted? Have we freed ourselves from the oppression and abuse that the Spanish colonizers inflicted upon the Philippines during their colonization? Or are we doomed to repeat the lack of progress made in the three centuries the Spanish have colonized the Philippines? Maybe. It all depends on the people, the Filipinos, after all. What this video essay is all about is not an explanation of a century hence, but rather a reaction to it. This video will cover points of Dr. Hizarizal's essay, but its aim is not to explain it in an elaborate manner. This video also aims to answer the question of what predictions, my predictions, will be about the Philippines in the upcoming century. This video is created in partial fulfillment of the course, Philippine Institutions 100, The Life and Works of Jacer Sal, submitted to Professor Rina Alvaro Boncocan. In the introductory parts of his article, Rizal stated, In order to read the destiny of people, it is necessary to open the book of its past. Dr. Jacer Sal's A Century Hence contains four parts that which elaborate on the title of the article. In the first part of the article, Rizal delved into the past of the Filipinos. There are three main points that Rizal discussed throughout this part of the article. These main points stem from the policies implemented by Spain in order to oppress the Filipinos and hinder their progress. Rizal discussed the lack of quality in life, wherein poverty is rampant in the country, the deterioration and disappearance of the Filipino culture, where the times of Datus and Maharlikas in the whole country was lost because of the invasive culture, and the submissiveness and passive outlook of the Filipinos to the Spanish colonizers, where in the three centuries the Spanish has colonized the Philippines, the Filipinos' sense of individuality and nationalism has degraded and allowed them to be exploited. In the end of the first part of the article, Rizal Weber brings to light that while the flames of nationalism have been diffused, the kindles of that spirit haven't fully been extinguished, and there its flames will propagate in time. Furthermore, the current lack of competitiveness in the established industries of the Philippines brings forth the lack of progress that Rizal have also discussed a century before. An example of this is the topic of telecommunication in the Philippines. Since there are already powerhouses that have claimed the lion's share of the market, there is not a significant amount of incentive to improve their services. An example of this is when Smart exerted a great amount of money in advertising using the popular names of BTS and Blackpink, when they could have improved their services with the advertisement fees of the K-pop idols. As for the Filipino indigenous culture, as of writing of this video, there is an upcoming Netflix series called Terese that will showcase the Filipino mythos. For me, this is a great leap in reviving the folklore that Filipinos have come to forget. If this momentum continues, in a century hence, where Filipinos have been exposed to their mythos, folklore, and culture, there may come a time where Filipinos have stopped looking for other culture to enliven, but rather look back on their roots and keep on producing content that enlivens the Philippine culture. In the next parts of the article, Jose Rizal mentions the possible outcomes of the Philippines under Spanish rule. Under it, Rizal goes over possibilities such as, in the positive hopeful future, the maintenance of the Spanish rule, however, there will be more law and greater liberty available to the people, the freedom of the press, 
a Filipino representative in Spain's court, and the betterment of human rights for the Filipinos or even independence. In a darker tone, Rizal outlines some actions that may happen and on some discusses the logistics of the future, extermination of the inhabitants, impoverishment of the country, and abuse, brutalization, and oppression from the Spanish rule. Now, in the latter parts of the article, Rizal has discussed the possibilities of a foreign nation occupying the Philippines. This part is where Rizal outlines which foreign power can colonize the Philippines in the future. This is the most accurate part of Rizal's prediction, as history tells us that the USA colonizes the Philippines for a good half a century. This highlights that Rizal has a great understanding of foreign powers of his time. For this part, a century hence, I predict that the Philippines will either succumb to a supernation that has great interest to her natural resources if diplomatic steps are not taken, most especially in the case of China or US. While we are currently an ally of the United States of America, the tensions of China and other countries that claim the Spratly group of islands may spark demonstrations even more so in another century. After all, it is known that China has taken steps in militarizing the zone. If they are indeed interested enough for a conflict with the world, the Philippines might have to ally herself with other nations to win from a common enemy in the next century. Although if this can be resolved diplomatically a century hence, the Philippines may be enjoying better infrastructure. Another establishment of a metropolis was especially in Clark thanks to the Build 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 program and progress ongoing there, and a subway system that allows Filipinos to freely traverse without the problem that is traffic.